Hey everybody and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Legends! I'm Zelda Master and in this one we're gonna be taking on Furon Woods. This time with... Uh, let's just play Link actually, cause I, I want to play Sheik, I want to show her off, but uh, I, I want to try Link's magic rod. I mean, it's kind of like I'm playing with a different character, Link but maybe quiet here. Were saved from the dangers of the Elden Caves by a mysterious youth named Sheik. Joined by their new ally, Impa's troops exited the caves and emerged in Farron Woods. There, they found a hidden village overrun with monsters. While Link and Impa wanted to continue their search for Zelda, they could not ignore the plight of the villagers. Without hesitation, they sprang into battle. And here we go! Alright, and you can see the Deku Tree on the map, which is really cool. But yeah, it's time- Oh! Oh, let's not exit this scenario, whoops. You know what I just remembered? You know what I just remembered? I can swap characters. So you guys are gonna see me play as all three of them. I feel so dumb. I'm just starting out the level with this character. But as long as the character is in this mission, I'm playing as them, so I don't have to worry at all. But there is one of the new characters within this game. I mean, she was in the original, so she's not completely new. Uh, she's just new for Hyrule Warriors. She's a Hyrule Warriors exclusive, and this is Lana. Uh, she does not fit with other Zelda characters. She looks like, you know, Zelda met anime, in a sense. I mean, all the characters look like they have this anime style, too. Uh, it doesn't look like Nintendo's Zelda game, so yeah, I, I just feel like Hyrule Warriors has this whole anime vibe to it. Um, and it's cool though, I really like that whole style, so it's cool how Lana and Sia are in this game, and uh, I don't really want to spoil who Sia is, but yeah, Lana and her are quite alike. But if you don't know what I mean, then we'll just have to wait until we make it to the story, because yeah, this does have its own story, and um... The story is pretty in-depth, it's just the cutscenes are really short, and it's like, you know, it's it's mainly focused on the war here. So yeah, oh, I like the way it stands. I don't know, it seems weird, but here we go, okay. It's time to battle with, oh yeah, the fire rod, I love this. Uh, the fire rod's actually really good, because it is ranged, and it's Muso is uh, pretty badass, and we're gonna go ahead and, and check it out. But yeah, I can swap between characters. Hopefully we can play with Lana later on, and so we unlock her, but I'm enjoying this. Oh, wait, I actually unlocked it. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Boom. <laughs> that is so OP. What, that's just a basic attack, but it kills a wave of enemies. Okay, boom, baby. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to find the, uh, the thing, the, uh, the arrow, the bone arrow, that's it. Wow, I'm so dumb. I like completely spaced out. I'm just like, ah, what am I trying to say? But uh, in that case, we better lend a hand. Okay, uh, there it is. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what is in this magical chest? Oh, yeah. One of these animations. And there we go. We got the bow and arrow. I guess hero's bow? Wait, just bow and arrows. Okay, so it's not specifically the legendary hero's bow. It's a it's a bow anyone can use. And I'm going to go ahead and use it on Link as I approach this Deku Baba. So, hey, buddy. Bam, you are dead. Got to level up. Nice. I totally forgot that's a thing. Now you can do it in-game. It's not like a after-game type uh, leveling up system where you, like all the experience appears at once. I mean, I think that'd be cool too, but I prefer leveling up in in the battle because if you do manage to get a level up while uh, in a battle, everything restores for you. You get full HP and full Muso, so it's pretty nice. I don't know if it works in this game the same. I'm pretty sure it does. I don't think they changed it, but BAM, baby! <laughs> so nice. Ready? One, two, three, and... Yeah! Love that. It's just like, it's too strong for Link even to handle that he like flies. Oh, it became an axe. I forgot you can do this. This is literally like, I feel uh, Link Between Worlds when you upgrade your fire rod. It's just like, hey, I upgraded it and now I can shoot it just like that. It looks just like this too. So cool. Uh, the fire rod has always been a really cool item in Zelda when you think about it. Wow, you interrupted me, man. Uncool. Um, but yeah, it has always been a really cool item. Sadly, it never makes its way into like all the Zelda games. It's only a few, like, not all the Zelda games get this such an awesome item. But I'm gonna go ahead and quickly kill the remaining, uh, Deku Babas, because 
Uh, yeah, they're gonna cause an issue. Plus, the game wants us to. It's not gonna let us advance without doing that. So, only one more remains. Nice. Okay, we're gonna get rid of him uh, with uh, Sheik because she is pretty fast. I mean, actually, I can't tell. I'm pretty sure they're all the same speed, but she seems much faster because she's a ninja. Or a uh, Sheik, uh, you know, technically. They're like assassin like ninja warriors. I mean, they shoot uh, like shurikens and stuff. I don't know. I really like. Uh, the whole Chica tribe. I think it's really interesting and I actually do want to go in depth on that whole thing sometime like kind of just make a video talking about it because I do like the Chica tribe and I think you know not many people know too much about it and uh, kind of want to make my own theories and stuff on it because yeah I have a lot of ideas like that I just never like go out of my way to do it and I guess because I just for a second I thought I was, I was using my sword so that was a big mistake on my part because I did not want to do that attack but uh, okay so well, someone's in danger you know what Impa is to the rescue for once we're finally gonna help a foe or a, an ally not a foe let's not help a foe I don't want to do that but hey look an outpost guard okay I'm gonna quickly save him hippity 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 ah yeah we did it all right now let's go ahead and kill uh this guy too the western tree oh god okay I need to somehow manage enough points to give me an upgrade to my stamina or my muso gauge come on oh my god how many times do I have to hit these guys run away oh, okay yeah I do not want to get locked into the oh, they fall what that's so much different they changed the animation it was just you stand still or maybe that was a different no I'm pretty sure you always freeze so I guess they did change the animation when the character uh, completely falls instead which is actually way cooler because uh, it looks like I like literally got knocked down. Uh, actually, it's not because then it didn't really reference Zelda because these guys are what re dead knights and they're known for screaming. Their screams literally paralyze you, and that's actually a really cool concept. But Lena uh, reached the Deku Tree. Nice. Okay, just gonna make sure everything in this area is dead. Are oh, you not screwed? No, I missed. Crap. No one saw that. No, I killed someone. <gasps> was it him? I think it was. He. I don't mind anymore. I don't know. I don't know why I just said he. I blame Midna. I'm pretty sure she didn't actually say he he, but the game is like that. I'm pretty sure it's more like an actual laugh because no one says he he in a laugh. But I just like saying he he because it sounds weird. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Okay, so you know what? You you can you can do this on your own. All right, come here, buddy. What are you doing, bruh? Come here. Well, okay, here we go. This is it. Yeah, it's time to summon the big dragon. It looked like crap. It looked like utter garbage, man. That sprite for the dragon, like the model looked so weird. Um, I'm okay, but just so you know, when I say that, it's not like I'm hating on the game. I, I, I just know it looks like crap compared to the original. It looks really good for a 3DS game. Don't get me wrong. Like I feel like this game is still really good for what it's worth. Uh, it's just everyone's going to compare it to, you know, it's <laughs> it's Wii U version. And I mean, obviously, you're going to be disappointed if you do. So that's why maybe you shouldn't if you want to, like, enjoy this game for what it's worth. But it's kind of hard not to, especially if you own both of them. Well, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Oh, back up. Nice. We're able to avoid that, and one, two, three, and boom! Attack! Oh, I love that! Reminds me of like, oh my god, it's so cool. Yeah, it reminds me of just like a samurai going ham on like someone. And they always have to look back, you know, they don't look at like explosions in a sense. Because usually the last strike is like some sort of explosion or something. Okay, um, so... I want to just like kill these guys because they seem really annoying. So yeah, we need we needed to defeat them anyways. Like, the game tells you to we defeat all five good ghosts. So yeah, I'm just gonna focus on this one and then we'll like swap characters and make sure we get them all. And there are Gibdos attacking the Great Deku Tree. Luckily we have someone already there, which is Link. Now we'll get to him in a second. Um, let me just make sure this is actually dead because I don't trust my. Uh... Okay, I don't trust. Uh... Oh God, they're in here. Uh, everyone else to do it properly is what I'm trying to say, but let's go ahead and do this. That was really like glitchy. I was trying to open up the chest there. Link like clipped on to the wall, but what's in this? It's oh my god, the golden ocarina. So it doesn't have anything to do with the adventure mode map. It act wait, now you can warp to any activated owl statues. So it must have something to do 
with the adventure mode. So never mind. I think the owl statues are like in the Majora's Mask DLC, but now you can get them beforehand, or maybe I might be wrong. Maybe there are, oh, there are owl statues so you can teleport in level. See, I don't know this. Oh my god, they literally took this from Majora's Mask and made it its own feature. So it's like, I'm with the Golden Ocarina, I'm gonna be playing the Song of Soaring. What? That is awesome, dude. I'm, I'm digging this a lot. Okay. So yeah, I am really glad that I'm playing through the whole story once again, like replaying it with uh, whatever changes they made in this. But okay, here we go. Fiery dragon, kill everything. Yikes. Did not kill him? Really? Okay, boom. Now you're dead. Uh, I feel like there's another one, but let's go to hit the... Uh, why? Okay, here we go. Wait, oops. What? What the hell's going on? Why? Now what? What was that? What did I eat? I guess I summoned... Oh, I guess I activated the statue. Now if I find a new one, I can teleport to them or something. Let's go ahead and try. So... <gasps> what was that? That's not even it. Is it? That's how the song sounds. I'm trying to think of the song of soaring. So I guess it's a different song, but I can't think if it's a reference or maybe it's just a shorter version of the song. I don't know, but that was so cool that I could have teleported. Actually, let me do that again. Let me actually have Link facing the screen. I want to get a better shot so you guys can also see it. So here we go. <gasps> All right, and... Oh my God, it did that sound effect. I feel like that was... What? What? Why'd I tele... Okay, teleporting has... What the heck? No, 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 no. We need to get the great fairy here, dude. This is really bad. Oh, God. <laughs> that was so stinking cool, though. All right, so I believe I have to kill him to open up the pathway, maybe. Let's go ahead and choose Fiery Dragon. Yo, I need you now. Aid me. All right, nice. This music, though, is putting me... On edge. I'm actually afraid now that I might screw something up because I gotta put out the fire as soon as possible. What does it want me to do though? Oh. Ah, there's no way. It, yeah, because it's gonna burn into a crisp. Well, that's gonna suck. So we can't do anything. Yeah, what are we supposed to do? Let's locate the the the, the tree, right? We need to do that. And actually, I just remembered you can locate it from over here. It's not just that way. So yeah, let's see. The tree is doing fine. Uh, you know, we have some more allies. It's trying its best to survive, but we gotta find the uh, Great Fairy, which is actually up here. Yeah, I, th I think I know where it is. I'm not gonna worry, because, yeah, I still have this game memorized pretty well. Um, I'm not too worried, but, oh, that gate did open up. I was taking the longer path, because I want to make sure I can do this before anything else happens, so... <laughs> Go. And I'm gonna quickly teleport back after I summon it so I can uh, use that to my advantage. I can't believe you can teleport around the map. That is such an awesome feature. It's like this game is them fixing all the little uh, issues they had with Hyrule Warriors. And just Hyrule Warriors Legend is just like, okay, well, this is the improved one with all the DLC, everything on it. So, yeah, I'm just like overall really, <laughs> really enjoying this whole idea here. But. There we go, as opened up. And now, oh great fairy, come to our aid. So here we go, oh, the music. Calm, but then. Oh, it's still calm. No, wait, what? Oh, now it's changing like to the serious music. Okay, hi, Are you, what do you want me to do? So yeah, she doesn't really do much. All she's doing is you see this animation and I'm assuming rain comes from the sky. Yeah, she summons, she just changes. Oh, she summons a cloud. Why well, don't I remember this? I don't remember this part. Yo, that looks really sick. What? That looks amazing. I don't remember this at all, but yeah. The tree has been restored. Cool. We did it, guys. All me, man. All me. Okay, so we got a cuckoo there, but I ain't gonna mess with that because I think it's gonna give us trouble later on. Mission successful. So you know what I need to do? Protect the Great Deku Tree. How am I supposed to do that? Oops. Okay. Let's go. Oh, and you can move the camera angle. I just remembered. So, do 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 do. And here we go. Hey guys, I'm here. I ain't nobody messing with the Great Deku Tree. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe that's actually like a feature. I'm I'm just too happy right now. <laughs> I really am, but 
Yeah, so we got... Oh, this is a Gibdell. Okay, ready? Peace out. Get ready to be burned to crisp. Yeah. You know, I just remember... I just realized something. This is really good news. Okay, we're gonna kill him first before I do this. But it's time for me to go ham on the two back here. And look how fast I'll be able to kill him with my spirit uh, rush activated. So I'm gonna try it right now. Huh? This time it's not over yet. Still have power in me. Uh. So yeah, now we can just break anything. It ain't nothing gonna stop us. I'm just like super strong. Here we go. Oh my god, what's gonna hit? Whoa! Too bad it's right in front of me. It had to happen like literally right in front of me. Oh my god, the Triforce Fire Blast. It literally like has to have a Triforce appear. That's how strong it's meant to be. It's like, yeah, it's, it's even stronger than uh, anything. I mean, it's using the power of the Triforce pretty much. It's so cool. I feel like I've, I've said that like a hundred times so far that everything is just so stinking cool because I'm just enjoying this too much. But a guard troop over here, let me quickly get rid of him. I don't want you to uh, ruin the fun. Oh, and you know, I just remember now that I can actually teleport as well. Um, I believe because the boss in this uh, level teleports to the Deku tree and you're supposed to quickly stop it because that's pretty much your base. So you have to run all the way over to it. But now that we can teleport to it, we're going to use it to our advantage and see. Hopefully I do get him to teleport on me because you can kill the boss before it does get a chance to. But I highly doubt I can do that this early on in the game actually, so never mind. Anyways, we got one down. These Gibdos are taking forever because, I mean, I guess it makes... Oh, another one down. And then the keep boss. So get them all in the same go. Will that kill him? Nope. Okay. Close enough, though. Or we can just keep Link back here, and then I'll worry about everything else. So, yeah, all the Gibdos are defeated. A chest appears, and then, uh, then we'll look into the last thing. Oh, God. Okay. So you do freeze. You don't fall. Or, you, I mean, you can fall. I guess it depends on what animation or attack the Gibdo does on you. Um, a Gold Skull has appeared, so let's go quickly swap to, uh... Wait, what? Where is... Oh, God. Um, okay, let's quickly use this. I need to hurry, because I need to make it- Actually, I feel like I'm close enough. You know what? No, let's not use that, because... Come on, Link. Start running. Okay, there we go. We're going to look for it over here. I have a feeling it might be up to the north, maybe. Maybe it's not that south. Or not. Oh, wait. I hear it. Let's wait for the music to completely fade. Oh, and then this is where, uh, Goma appears? Yes. Alright, you know, let's just watch it, because we haven't, we haven't skipped anything, and I'm not going to skip anything, unless we see this, uh, little, uh, cutscene animation again, then I'll skip it. Uh, like, from the same enemy, I'll do that, but, I mean, if it's the first time seeing it, why not show it off? Or at least the first time in this game, but, okay, okay, okay. Uh, whoops. Um, I did not mean to do that, I meant to use this. Okay. Hurry, use it. And, yeah, it was there. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, just literally gotta listen to the music. Okay, now that we have that done, let's go ahead, take out this, our bow, and then let's fight. It's time, guys. So, mission start. Defeat Goma. I'm gonna do that right now, guys. Let's go. All right, here we go. We got... Oh, that's not Goma. I don't know why I made think that was Goma. I was like, wait, what? Uh, all right, there he is. Uh, wait, oh, already teleported around the map. Oh, no, or not. Okay. I just jumped in the air. So, hey, buddy. What? You were using your laser. I thought I had it. Okay, whatever. You guys have to wait for the whole thing, and then it goes blue, and then you... Wrong item. Oh, my God. I'm using the wrong item. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm learning as we go on. So, boom. Boom. And you go in. Okay. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's actually really cool. It didn't do much damage, actually. Boom. Uh, we're not doing any damage, to be honest. And we have to hurry because so many enemies have appeared. Uh, is he going to crash down or is he actually going to teleport? Okay, he's. Yeah. So, oh, no, he's going to teleport, and I'm assuming to our base. Yep, to our base. Or to. Oh, it's over there. It's fine. Either way, I'm going to need to do this. We can take this out. All right, peace out. Let's go teleport over here. 
And then get going. Oh, it's oh, it was actually here. Sweet, perfect timing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh my god. Wrong item. So return. Avoid attack. Wait. Uh, I don't really care for anyone, honestly. I'm just gonna try to end this instead of focus on the uh, bosses and whatever else. But why is the uh, the thing resetting? I don't. I can't have this reset. It's gonna make killing him way too hard. Like, okay, there we go. So we got him to half. So now, next time he's knocked down, hopefully I'll be able to do the, uh, the really strong attack. So boom. All right, yeah, it's there, okay. I guess I just, because he moved spots, it like changed. Uh. Okay, are you kidding me? Okay, I guess we have to do it again. This is taking a bit longer than expected. Oh god, he's just killing everybody, come on! Hurry up! Go ahead and use your attack. Perfect. Roll! And then shoot! Seems like I'm playing Dark Souls when I do that. Because he's like, you roll completely to avoid the attack. Alright, here we go! Oh my god, that was good! That was really good! Alright, and we almost have our Muso, so I guess we'll be good as long as I can kill him here. So, just keep your thing. Come on, Goma! Go ahead and do your attack. I don't, I don't like kind of waiting it out, though. You have to. He doesn't really have many different attacks. I'm assuming he's going to fall right back in place. Yeah. Okay. Hi. <sighs> Things don't look good for me. Sorry, Lana. I, I would help, but like... Ah, uh, crap. Uh, who is... No one's even there. All... Okay. You know what? We just need, we need to end this now. So hopefully... Goma does something. Come on, Goma. I, I don't... I really dislike how you have to stand like this, though. And just kind of wait. Oh my god. Okay. Goma withdrew from the. Oh, okay. Where oh, it went all the way over there. Creature got away. Yeah, sadly. Usually I kill it when it's in our base. I never thought it would make it this far out. So. Please pick this up. Perfect. Okay, now we can kill it next turn. Just let me, uh. Let me just hit you with. Just come on, just come on. Alright, perfect. Finally. Now we're done because I'm gonna go ahead. And I do this. Now I'm just gonna end it. All right, come on, go. And just do it. Who cares? Let's just see how much damage this does. And let's use Musu as well. We should end this. Come on, take everything. It did no damage. Oh wait, I can do this too. <laughs> now that was a good. Freaking combo. He stood down for a while. He's actually able to kill him. I'm like, am I not actually going to kill him? I didn't want any fort to go down, especially the one with Lana in it. Uh, and I think she survived, actually. So that's a good. But we were able to do it. So yeah. Great job, everyone. A solid win for us. Woo. We did it. <sighs> right now, I, yeah, I'm, I was pretty sure there would have been a cutscene. So I guess, I guess we're done. I hope Zelda would be here. Apparently, that hope was in vain. Not really, Impa. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> She's here. Trust me. Where could she be? Is she safe? May the goddesses protect her. Right. Link is uh, in pain. And she's jealous. She's like, oh, come on. I like Link. I just met the dude. You know, I mean, I guess, I guess that shouldn't be a surprise. You know, Link must be a stud. Any chick that meets him must be like, dang, dude. For generations, <laughs> Hyrule have now. told the tale of the war across the ages. This is how it begins. Deep in the forests, far from mortal eyes, a great sorceress watched over the balance of the Triforce. Through her magic, she could see across ages able to read the fates of all who lived, but never interfering. That is, until a unique soul caught her attention. The soul of the hero of legend, eternally reborn when Hyrule's need is greatest. Through her powers, 
the sorceress should have seen that the hero was bound to another. Instead, she saw only a soul that was unlike any she had known. And while the sorceress was preoccupied, a fragment of darkness, locked in its prison, saw an opportunity. The whispering darkness wormed its way into her heart. It pushed the light away and warped her curiosity into a desperate desire to possess the legendary hero's soul. Of course, this evil had its own desires. To use the Triforce to resurrect itself and conquer Hyrule once again. Having pushed the light from her heart, the darkness compelled her to open the Gate of Souls, the doorway of time itself. Monsters from across the ages pour through the gate bringing ruin to the land of Hyrule once more. I have to say that story was actually really cool. Like, I love the animations and everything to it. Like, yeah, it was awesome. I love the whole storybook type of uh, storytelling they have going on there. But... There we go, so now we know the story of the one who was supposed to watch over everybody, but got jealous over Link, and like literally one act of jealousy somehow opened up all this evil to her, because it was just literally like, it's kind of like a gateway. You get slightly jealous, and all the pure and kindness in her heart like completely vanished, and it became all evil, um, and it, it looked really cool, but I, I like really, I really like the plot, because it's literally like, just, you know, it's, it's weird, like, you wouldn't think the story would really come down to this, of someone getting jealous that Link is, like, you know, side by Zelda, you know? And, uh, trying to take over, but I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and quickly skip through all of this because we are done. We got a bunch of material. Another piece. The Sorcerer- the Sorcerers- wait, what? The Sorcerer- the Sorcerers of the Woods? Oh, that's the- the Sorceress of the Woods. Oh, okay, that's actually the name of the, uh, the level, or I guess like the chapter, not this illustration. But, oh my god, you can play as Linkle! Guys, you know what that means, I think Linkle is next. <gasps> we unlocked Simple Crossbow. Got bizarre, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't care about that. I'm excited, because now Linkle's story is next. So instead of heading straight to, uh, the, um... The battleground that you're going to be on a lot, which is the fourth scenario, which is this one, uh, and it is known as, uh, yeah, Valley of Seers. This, you're going to get familiar with this level, we're going to be taking on a lot of different scenarios, blah blah blah, but what I'm excited for is to jump back into Fenron Woods as Linkel, and that's what we're doing next time, because yeah, the reason why I'm replaying through all of Legend Mode is so I can tackle on the new story they've added within the game, as well as, you know, the new concept of the story as well. So I'm just excited to see uh, all the new uh, scenarios they added and just see how it goes from there. So yeah, um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this one. And next time, get ready for Linkle to join the battle. See you all then. <laughs>